Hi, I'm Tom Newton. I'm the Director of Printed Circuit Board Technology and Standards here at the IPC, and I have a question of the week for you. Specifically, we've had questions, and I've had numerous questions actually, from people inquiring about J-Standard 002C revision is the most current, and the one in particular that, that I'm going to address today deals with the flux that's called out in J-Standard 002. The question basically was, hey, the fluxes that are currently in the J-Standard 002 do not match at all what I'm trying to use in my manufacturing process. What am I going to do? The answer, basically in simple form, uh, quick form, is they were really never intended as fluxes that would be used in manufacturing. They're perfectly usable in manufacturing, but they are standardized test fluxes that must be standardized from that perspective in order to be able to contain or compare, I should say, the data uh, that one obtains to the requirements that are in the J-Standard 002. You've got to have them fixed. Basically, the, the bottom line is that we all understand that fluxes have a major impact on the solderability of a particular solder and material to which it's being soldered to. And the fluxes, you know, again, are a major impactor for that. So we've got to control those. They've got to be standardized. And basically, we've got one flux that deals with for lead-free type soldering and the other one that deals with eutectic or lead containing solders. Now let's expand this topic just a little bit further though because what I just said relative to J-Standard 002 also refers to J-Standard 003 and its most current revision is B and both of those documents deal with solderability. It's just a question of what type of test material are you evaluating? Are you checking wires or component leads? And the answer is, then you, you, you must use J-Standard 002. If you're looking at a bare board, printed circuit board on the other hand, and you want to know how best to solder to it, then you really want to go to J-Standard 003. They both use uh, the concept of solderability as their primary criteria. Uh, they both use similar techniques to evaluate the solderability, both from an, a, a visual uh, comparative basis, some people might call that dip and look, and also from a quantitative basis, which is a, basically a wettability or a, a wetting balance type test that uh, one would, would uh, be potentially using that is quite quantitative in, the, in its values. Um, again, solderability is simply nothing more than a series of tests to determine just how quickly does the solder wet to the item of interest, how complete does it wet, is it, does it have skipped areas, uh, de-wetted areas, or does it wet uniformly, and then ultimately, of course, what's the quality of the, of the solid solder joint once it's cooled in terms of its footprint and, and uh, how it basically looks at that point. Um, final uh, concept is that both documents use uh, both uh, evaluations for lead-free type solder joints as well as uh, the lead-based uh, solders. In fact, there's a one-for-one -one, uh, comparative between the two types of solders uh, in both of the two documents.